Hi, my name is Sophie and welcome back to my channel. If you're already watching this channel, you already know this video. This is because I already uploaded it, but without a voiceover. And if I'm honest to myself, I prefer watching videos with voiceovers. But doing voiceovers is kind of weird because you're sitting in your room talking to yourself and it feels strange. That's normal, I think, <laughs> because people aren't used to talking to themselves. But as I said, personally, I prefer watching videos with voiceovers, so I'm trying to practice doing voiceovers too, so it's not that awkward anymore. So I'm re uploading this video with a voiceover. For me, it's uh, easier to do videos without voiceovers because doing the video and drawing and filming and cutting the video, try to do interesting cuts but I'm practicing so sometimes it's just filming what I draw. I'm just having a raw cut and speeding it up. But from time to time I experiment with the cutting and it works. It's nothing you do in five minutes. Well, it's nothing I do in five minutes because I'm new to all this YouTube stuff and making videos. I think it's really cool and fun and I want to practice it. I want to practice cutting and practice making voiceovers. So that's what I'm doing now. And I will try to re-upload some videos I did before and I think which are still cool and I still stand behind them. But I didn't do a voiceover because it's much easier to just put music over it. Especially if you experiment with cutting and it's like, whoa. <laughs> it's like I already had hours and hours of work because you don't draw in just five minutes So it's hours of drawing hours of cutting and then doing a voiceover It's sometimes a little bit overwhelming So I just put music over it But as I said, I prefer watching videos with voiceovers too And if I'm honest to myself and maybe if you're honest too It's not really what the person is telling me It's just that they are telling me a little story telling me something about their day or telling me some random stuff like I'm doing here. So I'm trying to do voiceover just that you hear my voice and I don't know, maybe you think it's really boring and it doesn't even make sense to you. So maybe we should talk a little bit about the drawing itself. At the beginning I showed you some materials I use because I think it's a cool intro and like I said I like to experiment with the filming. Then you saw me sketching and and I did the base colors with watercolors. I used a water brush because I, I found them really handy and practical. A uh, water brush have a little tank with water so you don't have to retake water. I think they are really handy and you can clean them easily by just pushing on the tank so water comes out and it cleans the net. I didn't use a reference photo for the drawing. I just do what was on my mind. If I'm re-watching the video now and also just after doing the drawing. It reminds me of Frozen characters. Not really especially Elsa or Anna but like a mix of the two like it could be her sister. I don't know a name so <laughs> maybe you know a name. How would you call her? I did the details with Prisma colors with pencil colors. I like that they are wax based so they blend really well and really easy. I did details on the hair and on the skin as she has really fair skin I gave her a little bit of a sunburned touch on the skin, especially on the shoulders. And I gave her a lot of freckles, because freckles are cute and why not? I used uh, some reddish and orangey tones on the hair, because I think with the light skin it complements her and with the freckles. It's cool to have her a little bit of a redhead style or a strawberry blonde. If I rewatch the video now and uh, how I did the drawing. I think that I put a little bit too much detail on the face so she looks a little bit old and tired <laughs> but it's okay. I did the outlines with a detail pen from Chameleon Pens and I did highlights with a Secura gel pen. I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you liked the drawing and I really would appreciate if you write me a nice comment, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and make my day. Bye!